Hi guys, today I have best aqua exercise with mini bands in a pool. Mini bands are ridiculously versatile. They are famous for helping to scalp and tone your lower body. Yes, they activate hips, target your glute medius, a small hip abductor muscle on the other side of each butt cheek. But while people think they are mostly good for lower body, well, I'm here to prove you how effective this can be for upper body moves as well. And it gets even better. Are you ready? This can be used during your aqua workout. Yeah, doesn't get better than this. So why you should own a mini band? Well, just watch this video where I present over 30 different exercise ideas with these goodie and you will get your answer. Order your bands following the link in the description and support the existence of this channel along the way. Are you ready? Let's begin. I love water. I love the sound of it. And I love being near the water. Or on the water. But most of all, I enjoy being in the water and working out. And convincing you to work out with me. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook. Are you ready for another great workout? I hope you are. Let's do it. Mini bands that I'm recommending are especially made to be used in a water, but they can also be used on land. So if for any reason you cannot make it to the pool, you can do all of those exercises, or I would say most of it, at your home, at your gym, absolutely anywhere. Sounds good, right? But today we focus on aqua exercise. Step touch is number one. For level one, which is a little easier, you will be placing band above your knees and you wanna make sure the band is not twisted. Level two, you are stepping on a band and this makes it slightly more challenging. You are stretching the band not more than twice of its length. When you guys order yours, make sure you order a few of those, okay? From easy to challenging. So this way you can adjust and pick the right band for each particular exercise. Number two, it's also step touch, but now we are moving forward and backwards and we have the same two versions, right? Easier and more challenging. You keep moving forward for four or eight and then back. Number three is sideways walk. This time you keep walking to one side for let's say four or eight steps and then you want to return back to your spot. Notice I'm not putting my feet together. They are hip width apart and wider. And after you stretch the bend, you just come back to that position. If you keep putting your feet together, you're going to really work with a lot of resistance eventually, and it's getting unbearable. Number four, aqua jumps with bands. Aqua jacks, I would say, right? You are jumping out and in keeping your feet close to the bottom of the pool. Notice that I'm presenting most exercise on different water levels and you can try workout at your waist level, you can go deeper, you can even do some of those moves in a deep pool as well. I love to incorporate some arm moves, right? You can surely use your dumbbells along with these or aqua gloves. 
Soon I will be posting a full workout with bands and you will see a bunch of these exercises are actually done with gloves. Let's really focus on great range of motion. Open up those legs, give those bands a good stretch. Number five, cross country skiing with mini band. This is gonna be tricky. We only have one position now. The bend must be right above your knees, just like that. If you are using band that's too easy, it will be sliding up. And then you know, you need to use a little more challenging band, okay? Bend will compromise your moves a little bit, right? They will get smaller. Your cross country skiing will not be as big as it normally is if you do it without the bend no worry the bend gives you extra resistance so have fun with it i promise you're gonna feel soreness next day and i think it kind of tells you how good these exercises are oh this one is my absolutely favorite number six breaststroke swimming with a band Bend is right above my knees and I just swim like this. Not only is my favorite uh, swimming style, but with a band, I feel how with every single kick, my glutes are getting stronger and, you know, all the muscles are firm. Many of you, I know for sure, are kind of completing your aqua aerobic sessions with a little bit of lap swim. Well, here you just have another idea of how to take these to the next level. You will be addicted to those moves, I promise. Make sure you guys get those bands ready. You won't regret, you won't regret. And these are so inexpensive. Once you get bored with this, then it's number seven. You will be swimming on your back with a band. So you kind of do the same style, but you now want to flip on your back. You continue curling your knees and then kicking your legs all the way out. Surely you can have a noodle behind you if you're non-swimmer or even keep your back supported on the side of the pool. Lots of creating waves to ways to really you know match it to your needs and make it fun for yourself if you guys are still watching make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are new number eight sideways scissors sideways scissors is definitely one of my favorite exercises in a pool this one you can also do either floating you can absolutely use gloves or dumbbells or you can place your hands on the side of the pool. With mini bands, you are already taking it to the next level. Don't be surprised if your leg moves get much smaller and you will feel those muscles the next day. But this is why we do it, right? And this is how we do it. Make sure you are not bending your knees really work your arms make it more fun by maybe trying to turn around with sideways scissors yep i know i'm giving you a lot of new ideas that's cool guys number nine this one is a little bit more stable leg circles in and out to make it a little bit easier place one hand on the side of the pool you're gonna have a little more control over this exercise Always count how many you did on right, and then obviously you try to do exactly the same on your left. Try keep one foot pretty stable on the bottom of the pool. If you keep climbing up on your toes, or you just cannot balance, it's a good moment to consider, again, holding side of the pool. Once your balance skills get better, once your muscles are stronger, you, will, you can do it really anywhere around the pool. Water level makes a difference, guys. If you are on a shallow side of the pool, it's easier because your body weight will kind of keep you grounded more. If you go deeper, it's a little harder. Notice I'm also reversing those leg moves, right? So I do circle out first, and then I reverse and do circle in. And then I move to number 10, I'm floating again. 
on my back and I'm just moving my legs out and in without bending my knees. This one is challenging. Here you can see me doing it in a slow motion. I know it looks easy, right? Well, trust me, it's not. Once you start floating, this is actually the actual tempo. You really have to struggle, struggle, struggle to do couple reps. And if that means you're going to do five right and then you need to jump down, catch a breath and then do five more and then again and again. Okay, I am editing those videos. I normally cannot do 40 or 50, okay? Yeah, 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 it's edited. <laughs> Number 11, knee curls in and out and then you're going to continue opening your legs out and in you continue floating on your back. So this one is another transition from the previous exercise, but it definitely is different. In, out, legs open, close. Easy to remember. In, out, legs open, close. Same thing. If you guys are non-swimmer, I do recommend you grab a set of dumbbells or place noodle behind your back, or again, just put your back against the wall. Using those lap lanes may not be a good idea because lifeguards hate when we do it. These are expensive, they're very fragile, and unfortunately, they are not to be used for our aqua exercises. But you already know the trick. You can, you know, jump down for a little bit, catch a breath, and then do it again and again and again. I would say try repeat each exercise at least for one minute. You got plenty of ideas for full 30 minute workout. Number 12, we are floating and we are doing scissors with bands. Yes, of course. Now, as before, scissors will make your scissors smaller, more like manicure scissors, but that's fine because band is giving you enough resistance to enjoy it. How could you modify this one? Well, of course, you can again grab noodle, set of dumbbells, or place your hands on the side of the pool. What is the water level for this exercise? Guys, pretty much any water level, uh, well, of course, higher than your hip would be great, right? But for this one, we can be floating on a very deep end of the pool or on quite shallow part as well and we really are still taking the best out of it let me remind you one more time the bend is supposed to stay above your knees at all times and it's not supposed to be twisting or folding up if this happens you need to use more challenging band yes it may feel a little weird first and that will surely decrease your range of motion but that's how it's done. Keep your belly in, work those arms along the way. I'll show you in a moment more exercise for upper body. Right now you see it's all lower body, so let's keep those hands moving. Number 13, squat and lifts with a band. I am now on pretty shallow side of the pool. That's why my squat makes sense. Notice that I switched back to the more challenging position i'm now stepping on a band can you do it with the band above your knees yes i just like this one so much better moving the band higher would be modification for easier option right i'm using medium band so it's quite easy for me to really kick this leg out i'm not bending my knees just for squat all right and here is the second version squat side lift a little bit easier sometimes you're gonna do i don't know 20 reps and you feel like well you would like to do more right you want to keep that going up to a minute but it's almost impossible well that's my idea for you guys just move the bend higher and you will be able to complete your set if you want to do full hour workout you are stuck with each exercise for two minutes love it yes and number 13 is usually a lucky number <laughs> number 14 finally something for upper body lunge position you'll be pulling band back you're gonna 
feel your tricep. I need you to do 12 to 16 on each side and only after that you can consider switching side. Notice the lunge, there's 90 degree point flex under each knee, my back heel is lifted off the ground. This forces me to really challenge my balance skills. Yes, I'm switching side, I'm pulling bend back and forward. Please always keep your band below the chin. Guys, these will last you for quite a bit, but they do eventually break. And when they break, you don't know when the other end's gonna bounce back, okay? You surely don't wanna bounce back anywhere near your face or your eyes. That is why keeping it below chin is how you use the band safely. Keep track on how many reps you do per side so your gorgeous right and your amazing left has the same number of reps each and every time. You can choose also to alternate lunges, right? You don't need to be stuck with 12 or 16. You can do one lunge, pull the band, and then you can switch leg. This way, this exercise will be more dynamic. If that's what you want, here you got another version for this exercise. Alternate lunges back. Number 15, you're gonna step on a band with both feet and you're gonna pull it up. And this, my dear, will put your lower abs on fire. Yeah! You're gonna do 12 to 16 per leg. No one in a pool but you will know what's going on. Everyone will think you are just dancing, but no, you are shaping your six pack. And then you're gonna start skipping right and left, right and left. This is number 16. High knee skip, you are stretching the band up. And oh boy, this one is tough. Do you have a minute? Ooh, number 17, loop, uh-huh, and knee curls. You are floating again, you open your legs, then you curl your knees in. Yep, that's the new name for this exercise. Loop knee curls. Love it with the bands and without the bands. Again, feel free to put noodle behind your back, grab a set of dumbbells, or learn how to float. The easier way to learn how to float is to get yourself aqua belt. This will keep you floating before you get more comfortable with the floating stuff and then you're gonna enjoy all of this. And guys, your body appreciates when you are floating. It's decompressing. It's something we can only do in the water, right? That's one of the exercises that surely you can guess is reserved for your pool workout only. This one truly is one of the most advanced exercise water exercise especially when we put it together with bands so that is why guys this video is a mix of easy and challenging moves so you can pick your own number 18 floating diamond yes diamonds can float and we are floating on our back so you already know if for any reason this is too much just grab a set of dumbbells noodle or place your back against the wall Keep curling your knees in and then open them out as you drag them towards yourself. Try keep your feet together when you do so. This is when you are really feeling this band. Great for abs and such a good one for glutes and out thighs if you combine it with a band. I like to do few and then quite often I need to jump down, catch a breath and do more. You guys already know one minute per exercise would be a great plan you can obviously do it a little bit longer make sure you control your breath with this and any other exercise the most challenging segment should be when you exhale for me the most challenging segment is when I pull my knees in so I'm really breathing out
next exercise, very similar actually to that one, number 19, ballet plie squats. You are keeping your heels together, toes, actually feet in a turnout position, and with the squat, you are pushing your knees out to the side. I love doing this one at the waist level because with the squat, not only I feel my body weight, how it adds more challenge, but also I'm able to really move my arms along the way. Notice you can either keep your heels elevated the whole time or you can lift them up, squat, come back up and then bring your heels down, right? So this one would be easier option. Once you get stronger, once your balance skills are improved, you will be able to hold that position on your toes. I like to use quite challenging band for this particular one. And eventually, I really love adding single squats, okay, more dynamic reps, keeping those heels elevated, just like that. Making sure that those knees are really sliding out to the sides, but not forward. You also wanna avoid bending forward. This next one, ooh, number 20, power plie squats. This time you are jumping out and in. And this one, yes, you can do it on land, but it would put so much stress to your knees and to your spine. But once it's done in the water, you are weightless, so you can go for it. If you guys also incorporate your arm moves, you still, you are also additionally kind of spreading that impact out. So good stuff. Jack pad number 21, lunge position, and you're now gonna pull it up. This time, yes, you just stepped on a band. Pull it up, like you were picking something heavy from the ground. Yeah, just another transition from the previous exercise. I like to use medium band for this one because I need a little more length into it. Here's again how you step on a band, lunge position, back heel is lifted. Keep dragging that elbow back towards yourself and kind of back to shoulder level eventually keeping the band close to your body at all times. 12 to 16 reps per side would be nice. Then you're gonna switch. It's quite important that you know which muscle groups you are working. Here you have upper back, shoulders, arms, tricep and core. Bicep is busy. Number 22, shoot an arrow. Same lunge position, you're gonna pull the band back for three, two, one, and then you're gonna switch legs. Please notice that one hand is just holding the band in place. It's like an anchor. Only the other one will be pulling band backward at your shoulder level. So you don't wanna drop that elbow down. Keep it along with your shoulder. Use your full body strength. Try to stretch the band twice of its length if possible. Don't worry if it's difficult. As long as you feel these muscles contracting, you're doing fine. And are you feeling tricep surprisingly on both sides? Not just arm that's pulling the band is working here. Your other one as well. That's pretty cool. Keep your wrist neutral. I probably would recommend medium to hard band for this exercise, depending which brand you are using. The most common mistake with this particular exercise is you leaning sideways or backward. You really wanna stabilize this position. Then you can move to more challenging version. Number 23 is when you continue stretching the band and you add cross-country skiing. That's pretty fun. Yeah, with this one, there's one bonus. You are surely burning more calories. Number 24, plie, and we'll be stretching those elbows out. 
guys plea position can be stable with your feet grounded on the bottom of the pool and you are adding pulsing movement so you're just dropping your hips down and up a little bit let me see it from every angle make sure your shoulders are above your hips right that square position that's your other version you can lift up your heels and really immediately take this exercise to the next level this is quite challenging so even if you can hold your heels up for let's say three that's fine how about if you can decide <laughs> just alternate right then left your upper body does the same thing so you just pull band back and forward the band is wrapped around your wrist but you want to focus on your elbows moving back and forward maintaining that square position and 90 degree point flex in your elbow joints I would probably recommend more challenging bend for this one. Don't worry if you are only stretching bend a little bit, guys. It's working. If you feel these tiny muscles right in between your shoulder blades, it's working. But as like I said, I do recommend you have at least two different bands so you can kind of alternate, switch them back and forth, and eventually you'll know which one you like for each particular exercise. Anytime you stretch it more than twice of its length, it's too easy for you. Number 25 is one of my favorites. It's V jump with a band. Not only you are kicking both feet forward toward the invisible wall or maybe to the side of the pool, I don't know, but I also want you to really take a good use of the band and gently stretch it out. I like doing this without any equipment. This kind of forces my upper body to act a little bit more, but you already know, you could do it with dumbbells and you could do it with noodles. Just in this case, it could be actually more challenging because your feet are kind of stuck in a band. V jump with legs out and in is just another level for the previous exercise. You push your feet forward, but then you stretch the band out and in just once. Hello, beautiful and firm glutes, out thighs and inner thighs. Absolutely love this exercise. Such a good one. Great for abs. Try your best to maintain again that position that reminds you sitting on a chair. So you're not going to recline back too far. Even if I'm telling you it's very tempting and it feels good. But... Think about it like you don't want to get your hair wet, okay? If you are reclining too, back, too far back and your hair is wet, you went too far. Number 25, 27, floating on the back, we're just going to focus now on opening those legs out and in. Once you slide the bend above your knees, you can definitely do it with more challenging bend. Doing with the, keeping the bend wrapped around your ankles you would probably need way easier bend so your choice i'm also here floating i'm using my upper body strength bunch of little little moves but again you can grab dumbbells or noodles or place your back against the wall if doing entire 30 seconds in a row is too much just try to few jump down and then try to do more the more you can do the happier your apps will be. Let me know your score in the comments, by the way, how many in a row you could do. Guys, this next one is super tricky. You have V side jumps with a band. So you can do singles or you can add those moves out and in like you see me doing on this video. Quite challenging. And let me tell you, you can't do it on a mat. You can't do it at home. Some of these exercises are reserved especially for water. Number 29, donkey kicks. Yes. Here, the only thing I would really want to mention is don't kick up, not too high. Okay. Notice how low this kick is. You need to support and protect the lumbar spine and kind of keep it in a neutral position. Once you jump, push both heels back to invisible wall and at the same time, do something with your hands so you can float in this position. You can also try open and close your legs like this three times, four times, however you want to. 
it is quite challenging let me warn you so you want to begin with a couple donkey kicks and then once you feel like this extra skill is coming along your way then I want you to try open and close your legs three times four times how many times you want to and number 30 we have floating scissors let's now place the band around our ankles and again make it more challenging you will definitely see smaller range of motion i'm actually using medium band now and this is going well if you guys find this too hard you already saw the previous version with the band above my knees it's much easier i would say a little bit easier Placing hands on the side of the pool would be first modification, grabbing dumbbells or holding on to noodle. Another two options for you. Number 31. Hello, upper back again. Let's now alternate back lunges, pulling band down and out on our way there. Now, I do recommend this one on a waist level uh, pull. But if you're a little deeper and it's impossible, you still take a little bit out of this exercise on a deeper side of your pool, no worries. Just make sure again, you keep the spine neutral, make sure your lunge is pretty long, okay? You see me here on a deeper end, it's really hard to go deeper and then down, right? Because you would have to uh, dive underwater. But on a waist level, you definitely can kind of express that level and our range of motion and that's much much better so if you have options go to the shallow corner and have fun with this one notice there's 90 degree point flexes under each knee after i duck into lunge position all right moving on number 32 we are jumping out and in this time stretching bent out so yes our thighs and inner thighs are still working but we focus on our back muscles on our arms so give it a good stretch now here i would probably recommend easier bands so if you have options choose the medium or light and if you have just the hard one or maybe you're too lazy to switch them back and forward just give it a good stretch same thing as long as you are feeling these muscles are contracting it really doesn't matter whether you stretch the band a lot or not warrior three and we are pulling band back so very familiar movement at this point but the new position okay i need you balance on one leg lift up your other one back try keep it grounded for i don't know 12 to 16 reps this is your modification right this is your lunge position or warrior pose and you are now moving to warrior three and this is good stuff a little bit of aqua yoga with mini bands what's better than this next you guys gonna move to alternate leg extensions my band is back again in the water right above my knees can you go around your ankles? Not with this one, I would say, because it won't allow you to go very far, okay? So you really want to see some of the movement. Keep that spine neutral and extend both arms forward, pretty much in the opposite direction that your leg is moving. Contract your glutes and keep your core engaged. That will protect you from moving back too far because it kind of feels good to go higher up. Oop, the band slips up sometimes. Yeah fix it <laughs> and move on to the next exercise when you're ready jumping jacks out and in this time watch we're gonna start tucking knees up in a moment Ta-da! so you start with those top jacks and then add knee tuck is it fun yes it absolutely is which muscle groups we are working here abs again number 26 you this one you want to do kind of closer to an end of your workout you're gonna bend your leg forward and then extend it back like so so i call it front and back lifts okay notice these small they're supposed to stay small i do recommend you keep band right above your legs count how many reps you do per side and then switch 
try using your hands rather than holding it to the side of the pool unless you have to of course because again you're working your upper body not even thinking about it you are again in a full body exercise game number 37 side to side leg lifts you're just gonna move your legs sideways keep your foot flex keep your legs straight and these muscles engaged one more time guys i want to remind you there will be a full workout available and if you want to know when make sure you find me on facebook where i always kind of tell you what's coming next and more you can chat with others you can exchange your amazing ideas guys because you do have such a good ideas about how to take those classes to the next level so i hope i see you on facebook fitness anytime and anywhere bye marzina enjoy those new 37 moves get your bands and make sure you always dry them nicely after your workout so they last you forever the yellow one is a flat band i will be making other videos about how to use it and when thanks for splashing by. bye bye bye